Shalom, Salaki. I just uh, finished up with a part two of the lesson. I didn't have that uh, cut off. <clears throat> We've partnered with Title, which you get out of the box, and you can do some amazing things. Really cool things driven by AI, like play music written by Prince but not performed by Prince, or play songs from famous sci fi films. I've got my music controls. If I go to the left, I can go back. If I go to the right, I can skip. If I was to go down, I can pause. And to get back to my home screen, I just close my hand. Okay, got my clock, weather, the date. If I tilt my hand up, got nearby. It tells me everything that might be around me and where I am at the same time. I can also use it to ask questions like, Again, we was going into what, how this devil uh, has created this system, all right, the image, the image representing the system. Ultimately, that's going to uh, lead two-thirds of, of our own people, all right, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, the majority of the world, to uh, worship his image, all right, worship his system by taking an RFID chip, by taking his mark, by taking his device, all right, spoken of in Revelation 13, 15 on down. They're building that temptation now, all right, as he have power to give life into that image, all right? Again, he's have power to give life into that system, all right? And even more so, he's trying to change that system to a, uh, the monetary system that is, all right, being of one of those three unclean spirits that we brought out uh, pertaining to Revelation chapter 16, verse 14 on down, all right? Um, how he's trying to go into what? A new monetary system, all right? Um, where everything is what pretty much RFID scan, all right, virtual, to where he's uh, everything is evolving around that, which is all leading up to Revelations 13, 15 on down, the MOTB, the mark of the beast, which is the RFID market chip. All right. Um, I was reading First Timothy chapter six, but I didn't get my point. I started at verse nineteen. Uh, I started at verse twenty. But just going back to the book of First Timothy in chapter six, in verse twenty, O Timothy, keep that which is committed to thy trust, avoiding profane and vain babblings and oppress and oppositions of science falsely so-called, right? All right, and this is ultimately what telling uh, Timothy, all right, which is a Timothy representing those who believe in, listening and learning on his truth, all right? The Akwakim, the Akim, the Akwakim, and Banyan, that's listening and believing and hoping on the Lord's mercy, all right? And keep that which is committed to thy trust, all right? Keep that which, the things that we've learned, all right? The things that we've been taught, all right? Avoiding profane and vain babblings, right? Not being sidetracked to um, the worldly conversations that go on about, all right, day to day, whatever the case may be. We stand boldly of what we know, all right, for a surety, what we, what we believe for a surety, all right? And oppositions of science, man, and that's the point I wanted to bring out, oppositions of science. Because the true science lies in the knowledge, wisdom. And understanding of Yahweh about Shimei Abishai, those who bear the Urim and the Thummim, all right? That's that's where the true science is, all right? Um, which, well, even the scriptures speak on how what we know in part and prophesy in part to where what we don't have the whole totality knowledge of that science as of yet, all right? But we have an unction to know all things, all right? Some, some brothers may know more than most, all right? But again, any man lacking wisdom, all right, you ask the most high for that increase, man, for that wisdom that you may be lacking or you desire. All right, but ultimately, it's up to the Father's will to receive it. All right, because He knows best what you'll do with it. And this is just going back into that point an opposition of science is what? An op. You know, Jake used that word today and don't even have the full understanding of it. An op, an opposition, man, contrary to. All right, it's contrary to the true science. Again, the true science is 
how the Heavenly Father set things in his ordinances and in stone. So you have to know of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, the Heavenly Father, to even get to that point of, 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 of understanding. All right, which majority of the people don't know Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. So who's the true scientists? Who's the true physicians? Those who are dwelling with the Urim and the Thurman, man. Those who are dwelling with the spirit and the truth. They're not going to be seen pertaining to the devil's devices, all right? And these, um, you know, these devices that he's coming up with, ultimately, that's, um, you know, giving the people woes and wows and making him seem as a, as a as, you know, playing as God. It's like the Thessalonians go into chapter 2, all right? From, again, speaking of. First Timothy 6 and, and 20, all right, and oppositions of science, all right, so we got to avoid these oppositions of science and don't get so caught up in them, all right, the social medias and all these things were created to drag us into the, uh, you know, the rabbit hole, all right, it's like a spider web, that's why, you know, it's called the web, all right, you get caught up in it, you know, but from there I want to get the book of Psalms chapter 37, you don't want to get deceived by the devil as he's cunning, all right. That's you know, a part of his blessing, all right. Uh, devil means what, uh, going back to the Latin, diablos means a deceiver. So, this is back in Psalms chapter 37, and verse 7 rest in the Lord, right? You have to rest in Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, all right, to have the unction to know all the things and call yourself a scientist or, or a physician. All right, because I believe the term doctor you can go back to a liar. All right, so who are you know you ultimately want to be a physician. All right, uh, and and those of the uh, the true physicians are, 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 are the prophets. All right, so this Psalms thirty seven and seven, rest in the Lord. How about Shem Shai? Right, that's where the rest is, and wait patiently for Him. Fret not thyself because of Him who prospereth in His weight. Because of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass, man, right? He's bringing wicked devices to pass, all right? So what? We fret not us, ourselves, all right, and say, damn, this devil is really uh, creating this thing. And he's really devising it. No, we, we, we know he's going to devise it because it's written. And we know that the, the, the Lord is allowing him to, uh, to, to, to devise it to a certain point, all right? And he's going to be cut off, man, like the scriptures um, speak on in the book of Job. All right, he's going to rain upon him while he's eating. All right, when he fills his belly, all right, he's going to get a judgment. He's going to go have that stomach ache, man. He's going to vomit it up. This is Job 5 and 12. He disappointed the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise, man. Right, they're not going to be able to perform their enterprise. All right, they're going to get cut off. While, 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 while they're thinking they're um, going to reach their pinnacle. All right. They're going to be met with a judgment for ultimately touching the apple of the Lord's eye. The so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and those of the speckled bird who may look like other nations, but bear the same spirit as such. Man. All right. Because you have some of our people that look like uh, the other nations due to the mixing and mingling of the past captivity. All right. Jeremiah chapter 12 and verse 9. The Lord's heritage is unto him as a speckled bird, man. All right, different, different, different colors, different shapes, different sizes. All right. And this is uh, Isaiah chapter 32 and verse 7. The instruments also of the true are evil. Right. So this is another instrument that he's trying to devise and bring forth the past. All right. Another device. But as the scriptures say, the instruments of the true, right, the true, the, the one who act niggardly, right, he wants to keep on everything unto himself. He already has the people running the rat race with a system that he set up of paying ta taxes, people being a debt for it to the damn devil, um, being subject to payments as the book of Baruch speaks on. All right, um, Haggai uh, 1 and 6, we fill a bag with holes being in his captivity, but yet it's still, all right, he wants to um, tie the actual physical person to the birth the birth certificate, the social, the, the social security. Okay. So I don't know if I'm still on or not, but yeah, he wants to tie in what the birth, the birth certificate and the social security card, ultimately that system, all right, that he set up the image um, to the people, all right, ultimately putting them in more of a slavery than they're already in, all right, as they think that they 
got out of one, all right? But they always been in one, all right? It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28. And you go into the curses, all right? I believe it's 48 on how, what? He's going to put a yoke of iron upon thy neck, all right? So like it, verse 68, until he have destroyed thee, all right? He have destroyed thee because the people have a lack of knowledge, man. Hosea 4 and 6, they're going to be destroyed for that lack of knowledge, for not knowing Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, and trusting in him and knowing that what? He's going to cut them off before performing their enterprise, that these devices have to come to pass to show this devil is a carnal, carnal uh, being, all right? He's trying to pay God on the left-hand side through carnality, all right, through witchcraft, through his blessings on the left-hand side, all right, through technology and, 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 and spiritual wickedness on the left-hand side versus, you know, righteousness, all right, on the right-hand side, being upright, all right. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 51 and verse 9. I know I mentioned it in a uh, part one going into what how this is spiritually uh this is Rome reincarnated or as the beast was healed all right but this time it's not going to be healed this devil is going to be cut off in your in, in, in these times all right very well in your lifetime there's no more prolonging the judgment of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh anymore all right as the people will say oh it's not gonna happen you know, whatever the case may be, all right, you're going to be sadly mistaken by uh, tempting the Lord and pushing off his judgments to, uh, aside as you see in the prophecies unfolding right before your eyes. You see the judgments. You see the prophets out there on the highways and byways declaring his truth, sounding off the warning, the alarm. So nobody has an excuse when that day comes. This is Jeremiah chapter 51. And I start at verse... Six, flee out of the midst of Babylon and deliver every man his soul. Be not cut off in her iniquity, for this is the time of the Lord's vengeance. He will render unto her a recompense. Babylon hath been a golden cup in the Lord's hand that made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunken of her wine. Therefore, the nations are mad. Right. So even the Lord has risen up enemies against Babylon fanners. All right, foreigners. All right, that's ultimately he's gonna waste this place, empty her land. All right, and right right now they're um, you know they're you know probably more than likely allegedly setting up their, their mercenaries through the what uh the migrants that's coming over in droves. All right, and later those missiles go come and wipe this place out. All right. And those migrants that came over here, uh that don't go back to their um their long home, all right? They don't they don't um flee out of this place when shit hit the fan. All right, they're going to be um a part of the Lord's sacrifice here in Basra um as well as uh you know the wicked, all right? Two thirds of our people and um the heathen. So, hey, the Lord said what? He's going to render her a recompense. All right, the uh, Babylon and the great America you know mystery babylon verse seven babylon have been a golden cup in the lord's hand right it's been in the lord's hand and the lord is getting ready to empty that cup out because it's, it's it's done it's, it's ran its course all right he's ready to accept his peculiar people back because it's a portion that have returned all right, that have woken up and 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 and, and praising him and, and and worshiping in him and in spirit and in truth and calling upon his rightful name. That made all the earth drunken, right? It made all the earth drunken. Babylon, the nations have drunken of her wine. Therefore, the nations are mad. Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. Howl for her, take balm for her pain. If so, be. She may be healed. All right. Hey, but it's, it's not going to be healed as the uh, ancient Roman Empire was healed and revamped. All right. Um, through what? Uh, the Treaty of Rome. 
We would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her and let us go every one into his own country. For her judgment reacheth unto heaven and is lifted up even to the skies. Man, right. It's a long awaited judgment, even dating back to the uh, ancient Roman Empire. All right. Where you crucified our Lord and Savior. All right. As well as two thirds of our people had a hand in that dealing. All right. Which is all eight. We here living out that judgment. All right, living out that lot, that perim, all right, all the people, all right, those who've done good and bad, and the Lord is going to reward those, all right, accordingly, all right, those who've done bad according to, uh, equal, is going to equate to judgment, and those who have done good, it will equate to salvation, if they're of the uh, nation of Israel, all right, if they're the, uh, of the heathen, you don't have a, you don't have a choice. This is uh, Psalms, and I end off with that. Psalms 33 and 10. The Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, bringeth the counsel of the heathen to naught. He maketh the devices of the people of none effect, right? So it's, it's gonna, it's, it behoove you not to even accept that thing. All right, that's what Revelation 16, in uh, verse 2, those who accept it, they're going to get a, a a grievous sore, like a cancer or ulcer. Just like um, the precursor has the people in question. Those who have took the jump shot, all right, they, they're in question, all right. The jump shot ultimately has um, broken them down, all right. Uh, um, you have articles of um, people who have accepted that. They have clouded, clouded judgment. Um, they're forgetting things, so on and so forth, uh, cardiac episodes, all right, so it's ultimately all the judgment of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, how you're showing the people, if you can see it through your spiritual lens, not to choose this devil devices, not to choose his way, because his way is death, but Shalom, Habadan, DTA, into the next one.